Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Heroine's Quest. Um, just prior to this, I actually looked back at my old uh, episode just to sort of re-familiarize myself uh, because it's been a week since I played. Uh, just as I started up, this this woman here just walked in. I don't she she's not familiar to me. Um, you see a beautiful young woman with a playful smile on her face who man who manages to make her simple robe look like the height of fashion. You'd imagine most men in Fort Sinktuna would be interested in her. Hmm. Um, well, uh, I would say so. Welcome, traveler. We may be in an endless winter with our food supplies running out, but I still manage to keep my tavern open. Oh, it's, it's, uh, Lithrazir. I did not even recognize her in all the pixel art. Um, so, all right, I, I don't, I don't need to... I don't need I to talk to her anymore. Help. Be careful out there. Yandvadir is dangerous. And the yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I did realize something, though, as I was uh, re-watching a little bit of the other episode. When I was talking to the um, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, uh, they mentioned that um, one of the gods uh, had, like, a golden lock of hair or something that was used as a trick or I I only caught a portion of that um, and it just reminded me that I have this little strand of hair here that happens to be golden <laughs> so perhaps that will come into play later on in the game but anyway let us move forward now what I want to do is oh this guy's waiting for me hello guy greetings again traveler as it is not the first time that I greet you, I am sure we are both busy people. If you have pressing matters, I am not too busy to discuss those with you again. How may I be of assistance on this Thor's day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? You can stop friggin' double talking. That would be nice. Uh, what is Fonsigtuna like? What is Fonsigtuna like? Fonsigtuna is the city that we live in which is called Fornsiktuna. It contains numerous houses in which people live, as well as the castle where the Jarl of Fornsiktuna lives. The Jarl, who lives in the castle, is named Ilfing, and I am in the service of Jarl Ilfing of Fornsiktuna. Jarl Ilfing is the Jarl of this city, and is a descendant of the clan Ilfing, who have traditionally ruled Fornsiktuna as its Jarl. There are numerous people in this city about which I could spread gossip, but since doing so would be spreading gossip, I choose not to share information with you about the numerous people in this city, lest I become known as a gossip. Right. You don't want to be a gossip, but you will be a double talker. I, I, I don't know if your priorities are quite right there, guy, but anyway... Uh, yeah, I, I heard that you need some herbs. I read that you are in need of herbs. Being a somewhat skilled alchemist, I employ my alchemy to brew potions to restore my magical power, or mana. These potions are known as mana potions, and are both potable and potent. However, I find I am lacking a particular ingredient, which I currently lack, and which is a necessary ingredient for my potable potions of magical mana. This ingredient is known as Artemisia vulgaris, or more commonly known as mugwort. If you know this ingredient, please locate me a suitable supply so that I can use this to supply my alchemy with ingredients. Oh, this is going to be painful to ask him more questions. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I think we're done with this guy. Good help. <laughs> it is time that I return to my duties. Because I am dutiful, and I have a duty to return to. I'm sure you can return later, and I will make it my duty to return speaking to you when you return. Right. So we'll all be returning at some return point in some return future. Possibly where you don't double talk. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. You're out here with your uh, pinwheel, huh? Um, you find any... Uh, Scary monsters, or perhaps a, a rat or two? Hello, hero lady. Do you have some good stories for me? 
Uh, never mind. Good luck with your training. Come back soon and tell me about your ventures. Okay, before I go too far, I know that I have a map that is supposed to tell me where to go in this world. And it is saying down there, which is that, that looks a lot, a lot like that woodcutter sort of guy that uh, the trolls went after in my dreams. So perhaps we will, we'll move towards that flashing, flashiness on our flashy, flashy map. <laughs> uh, I can't do it quite as well as the old man can. <clears throat> so we've been through some of these woods already. And apparently I'm, I'm getting used to the cold here. My endurance keeps going. Oh, God. What the hell is this? Well, I'm fighting it, whatever it is. Oh, and I don't have the right weapon equipped. Well, this sucks. That's a warg, huh? All right. Uh, well, before I do, before I do anything else, let's get let's get the correct weapons equipped here. Uh, we want to do this. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So, can I grab anything from this? Any loot to be had? Predictably, the warg wasn't carrying anything. <laughs> <laughs> of course. However, with the right tools, you may be able to get something useful from its body. Oh, all right. Um, uh, all right. Well, I'll have to change over to this again. Just make sure I change back. You attempt to skin the dead, the dead warg, but its pelt is too damaged from combat and of no use for you. However, you are able to, to cut out enough pieces of edible meat... To make a meal for yourself. Well, that's that's good enough, I guess. Uh, let me make sure that my my sword is is equipped now. Good. And where where's the? Okay, it got one piece. One piece of meat, huh? Uh, let me just do that. Oh, I've already equipped the sword. Okay, good. What is in this trash pile? Uh, you can see making a few good snowballs. Uh, no, that's not what I, I wanted to look. At this stuff. Oh, oh, that's the boar I slew. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that explains that he was he was gnawing on the on my handiwork. Okay, my endurance is already pretty bad here, so this is I'm gonna have to <laughs> probably head back. Before I can get anything accomplished, let's just go around in circles a bit here. Hey, why, why, why are you out here all, all of a sudden? Um. Hello, hero lady. Do you have some good stories for me? Uh, I need your help with an important. Oh. I'm not going to send him after those flowers, am I? That bird is frozen solid. I need your help with an important quest. Jaime, I would like to have one of these flowers. Could you climb up there and pick one for me? Mother says I should stay out of danger after the troll got me, so I will stay away from these. <laughs> just flowers, I mean. Just ignore the frozen bird that's there. Um. All right. Uh... I'm not sure how you would collect those though. That's that's the question. Without getting uh without getting zapped by them. Cause I assume that's what's happening with that bird there, or what happened with that Oh, here we go. This is this is gonna be all kinds of fun. Alright, let's see if we got the right yeah, we got the right thing now. Good. Oh, parry. Thrust, thrust, oh, parry, thrust. Excellent. All right. Uh, oh, 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 I didn't catch whatever that said. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> wasn't much to wasn't much to be said there. 
Uh, let's grab some more meat if we can. Uh, it's pellets too damaged. Blah, blah, blah. Able to cut out some meat and make a meal for myself. Good. Uh, I think I'd better head back though because I'm going to start taking actual damage here from the cold. And what does my what does my map say now? Not much, not much. Other than I need to go up, up. But let's see what's over here real fast. Nothing. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Oh. Oh. Well, this is not sinister or anything like that. The grave simply says, Ingeld, who fought at Harrow. Or Harrow, Her whatever. The tombstone says, for the most comfortable afterlife, contact stands, previously used coffins, at 555 Coffin. Oh, this game. <laughs> at least it doesn't take itself seriously. I'm, I'm happy with that. On the grave is written, here lies Rolg, or Ilrog, the necromancer, or so we hope. His last three graves proved unable to hold him. Excellent. The crude carving on the stone reads, uh, Rashak Skull Crusher, War Leader Fierce and True. Alright. The Grave of Hagbard, Son of Har Hammond, hanged by the, fa by the father of his beloved Signy, who took her life as he died, worthy of the Einherjar. Ein uh, these words, man. The gravestone reads, Dag, Son of Delin and brother to Sigrun fell in duty to his Jarl. Okay. It says Walrus Mumblemore, son of Centador, slain by Drape, who finally got tired of his continual mumbling. <laughs> May Larry avenge him. Ah, uh, excellent. Now what is that? At the edge of the graveyard stands a large tomb, solidly built and sparsely decorated. You can make out the name Ilfing above the door. Ah, it's the... Uh, it's the catacombs of the of the king's kin. Well, we don't need to go in there just yet. I I'm getting a feeling that we'll need to do a little bit of grave uh, being at some point. Somebody has a gravestone that looks like an igloo. That's interesting. A solid slab of stone bars the entry to the burial mound. It would surely be locked to keep intruders from getting in or to keep the dead from getting out. Cedric Diggory, who entered a graveyard alive and left it dead. Well, I guess technically he never did leave it. <laughs> this tombstone intentionally left blank. Uh, nice, nice. <laughs> a little bit of a manual joke there. Here lies Baromir, son of Denethor. It took no less than 50 arrows. Ah, a little Lord of the Rings reference. I like it, I like it. Uh, oh. Oh, I froze to death. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Let's, uh, let's load, reload this game then. <laughs> uh, oops. I knew I had to get back soon, but I didn't think I was going to actually freeze to death. <laughs> that's what I get. That's what I get for putting it off. And I assume this this wiped out my map too. Yep. That's alright. We've been we've been to a few places. Let me go up here again just to get that onto the map. Very good. Let's take a look at the map. Um I'm off the map. Alright, well, never mind. <laughs> what what good is this map? What is that? A ferret? I had no idea. Never seen a white ferret, but I, I guess they exist. <laughs> oh, we got another battle. All right. Fought enough of you already. Oh, oh, I don't have my damn equipment. Oh, parry. There we go. Forgot that I reload it from a from a save. 
So let's, uh, um, all right. Don't give me the option. <laughs> See if I care. Cut this up. Yep, yep, yep. And let's make sure that I have the right weapon equipped. Thank you very much. All right. We're back to making progress. We're back on the road to progress. Let's go this way this time, because I think I went down last time, if I remember correctly. Yes, I want to go all the way. Thank you. And we'll go up this way, maybe. All oh, right, this is the the tree with the with the sword in it. I wonder if I can get it now. Nope. Nope. It's, that's that's a later game. But at least I have it on my map now. All right. Yep. Very good. Oh. Gandavik, huh? I oh that's right, I couldn't go this way before because it was it was blocked off. Um I probably should not be walking on this ice. This is probably not safe at all. Um let's go back <laughs> for right now, because I don't think I have a, a reason to be there yet. Oh you know what that that's a, a, a it's supposed to be a rabbit, isn't it? Or or a jackal or some of the, one of those one of those things, jackrabbit or what the heck, whatever the hell they're called. Okay, we'll go all the way down. Oh, you know what? Am I? You know, my my health is not doing so well there, or my my stamina is not doing so well there. But I think we can explore just a little bit longer, and then want we'll to run back to a campfire. Oh, oh, this is random cave that I probably should not go in yet. All right, let us return and get warmed up. And then I will return with you guys once I've uh, found something interesting. Uh oh, we've got a battle here. We're being waylaid. Possibly. Very slowly we're being waylaid. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, uh, Overhand strike there, huh? Oh, you missed me again, guy. Oh, nope. There we go. Get rid of that guy. But we have got to get back. Let's get some rest soon. Uh, we got to get back to back to the city as quickly as we can some odds and ends as well as six silver pieces excellent you shall not waylay me for long anyway all right let's head back I don't know if I'll make it <laughs> it's probably not going to and I'll have to oh for crying out loud I just I can run away from these I know that Yes, there we go. Just run. There's no point. You're, you're about to freeze to death anyway. <laughs> Let's get in here. Before that happens. Alright, again, I will be back with you guys once something interesting happens. Human, that's your doom. That's hand. The hell is this? An evil squirrel I just met. The hell? Um. Uh, why do you want to do me? Why do you want to do me? Well, oh, the stupid human asks me why. 
I am the bringer of Ragnarok. With these very teeth, I gnaw through the branches and roots of Yggdrasil until the world tree shall fall. Oh, yeah. Ekthor is but an upstart. Fenrir, an amateur. It has been prophesied that I, Ragadask the Doom Squirrel, shall herald the twilight of the gods. I'm not very impressed. Um, so how exactly do you intend to do me? So, how exactly is my doom at hand? I shall poke at your eyes with my sharp, sharp tail. I shall hide all the acorns you are stealing for winter. I shall bet your bones and not on your marrow. Okay, well, I, I don't have the one ring, so you can stop golem-ing me. Uh... <laughs> so what's your name? What is your name? What? You do not recognize me? I'm Ratatask. Ratatask the mighty. Ratatask whose teeth cut the branches of old Jocelyn of Jarl. Ratatask, the original doom squirrel. <laughs> Gaze upon my visage. And right. Um. Doom Squirrel? Doom Squirrel? The very same. Humans have such poor senses, but I knew you would recognize me eventually. So, yes, prepare to meet your doom at the hands of Ratatask. Claws of Ratatask. That is, Claws of Doom. Claws that shall pierce your skin and spill your blood in the forest. <laughs> yes. Right. Um. Yeah. Just, uh, why don't you just leave me alone? Leave me alone. Be well, puny human, for I shall be back for you. Your doom shall find you. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's more disturbing, a talking squirrel or a talking doom squirrel. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's that's a thing. <laughs> uh okay. Let's 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 travel a little bit further. Perhaps we won't meet any more Doom Squirrels along the way? Are you a Doom Jackal? Huh? Jackrabbit? Are you Doom Jackrabbit? Nope. Nope, you're just a, you're just a cute Jackrabbit, huh? Uh, I, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got another, like, ferret-like thing going around here? Uh, I'm almost to this, to this flashing head here. So let us... Let's make our way there, uh, forthwith, although it's not going to happen that way, is it? Oh, I can still go down, go down one, let's, let's, let's do that. Come on, hopefully before we freeze to death. <laughs> that would be, that would be swell, well, what the hell is that thing? A small Vorder spirit hovers nearby, trying to attract your attention to something. Well, how exactly are you going to attract my attention when I can't even barely see you? What? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, it's his spirit. Well, that's, that's interesting. A man is lying on his side in the snow. He looks badly hurt and appears to be unconscious. So can I pick him up? Uh, examine his wounds. You determine that his wound is not as bad as it seems, but the man suffers from severe frostbite. Well, pick the guy up. He's much too heavy to carry, so you decide to drag him to a nearby village so he can recover there. Well, that's good enough. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. We left. With a nice little blood stain there and everything. You take the man to his house in the village of Monarvid. 
Monacidil. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a damn feminine itch cream, so I might as well call it a feminine itch cream. By the warmth of the of the hearth fire, he quickly recovers. I thank you for aiding me. Had some hostile creature come by. I may have been in trouble. You are welcome. I am Sigurd, son of Sigmund, protector of Munavagir and keeper of the Skyfar Inn. You are not from these places. What is your name? Uh, the mighty pirate? How the hell did I become a pirate after all that? Uh, and you are in my debt. Uh, warrior and <laughs> mighty slayer of trolls. Uh, whatever. I am a warrior and mighty slayer of trolls. <laughs> Tis good to have another warrior in our midst. I am honored to meet you. This is the Skyfar Inn. You are welcome to stay here as long as you please and to share food at my table. I bid you welcome to Manavagir. I thank you. Can you tell me who attacked you? It was a two-headed troll by the name of Revolve. When I meet him again, I shall crush his skulls with my blade. Did he want anything? Indeed. The foul troll seeks the eye of Thiasi. Do not ask me more about the eye, for I shall not tell you. Very well. Oh, I have ways of making you talk. Perhaps a little bit of... I should have brought some ale with me. Uh, pff, please tell me about please yourself. Please tell me about yourself. I am Sigurd, son of Sigmund. Yeah, I got that Ruben part. warrior, marked by battle, wielder of the blade Nofum, and defender of Munavagir. Okay, well, I, I learned about your blade anyway. I mean, you gotta name it, you gotta name it. Tell me about Munavagir. We are a proud city, bastion amidst Janvadir, and valiant raiders over Gandvik. Or we would if Lake Gandvik were not frozen solid with this fell winter. As warden of the city, I take it as my duty to know all the residents. So that was Gandvik that we saw, that was the frozen river that I was too afraid to cross. Um, uh, yeah, talk about the city. What can you tell me about the big city? The city of Thornstick Tuna is our chief rival in these woods. Its Jarl, Ilfing the Craven, seeks to place us under his rule. But we stand strong in resistance. Jarl the Craven, eh? eh? What can you tell me of the forest? The endless trees of Janvadir are dangerous to the unwary, but prove no match for a seasoned warrior. Tell me of the raiders. Tell me of the raiders. There are bandits that live in small camps in the forest to prey on travelers and merchants. The cold is making them more desperate than usual. They have no honor and little fighting skill. I have often seen them use a wild overhead slash that leaves them wide open for a counterattack if you are fast enough. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did uh, to that one waylaid guy, or guy that tried to waylay me. Uh, how about the wargs? There are nasty wargs in the forest. The vicious wolves of the Northland are not to be trifled with. A single varg should not be dangerous, but they tend to hunt in packs large enough to trouble a seasoned veteran. They know to approach from downwind like a true predator. Hmm. Too bad I don't know what downwind is. Um, have you fought any have trolls? Have you fought any trolls? Besides the one that just Young pummeled Vidir you. is well known for its trolls. They are tough as a wall of bricks and about equally clever. <laughs> the leader of the trolls is that two-headed cretin, Prevaldi. May force thunder shatter his bones. It is said that a troll only becomes leader by bashing troll heads until none dare oppose him. They should tell you of his strength. I sincerely hope to face him again in battle. Hmm. Uh, well, <laughs> he didn't want me to ask him about the Eye of Thiasi, so I guess I'll... I guess I won't press the subject. I wish you good health. I, you are pondering something. Yes, I believe this troll who attacked you is also after other people. The dastardly creature would do that. Since it came after me, its next target is likely to be Voland, the smith. And why is that? 
because he is the strongest warrior in Thorn State Shula. As I am here, thank Odin that he has the Jarl's soldiers to protect him. Nevertheless, I shall warn him next time we meet. Do what you must, Traveler. I shall take the time to fortify this town, to keep the troll out. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting that he would say that. Probably because of that other eye thingy that I saw in Volan's uh, smithy. But that will do it for this episode of Heroine's Quest. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.